I'm gonna hold up this anime as a symbol of animators fecking with the original manga and ruining what could be one of the best anime ever. You see, the story of Rosario plus Vampire is excellent, being the superb school for superpowers concept where a young guy named Skune accidentally enrolls into a secret academy for monsters and mythical creatures. At the same time, he has to hide the fact he's human for fear he'll be eaten, which I suppose kinda still happens anyway, as he soon befriends a vampire named Mocha who likes nothing better than to suck his blood. Blah. Anyway, in this world, vampires are mega S-class monsters, the creme de la creme of what goes bump in the night, which drags a lot of unwanted attention towards Skune. One by one, monsters come wanting to get rid of him so as to be with Mocha, to hurt Mocha, or just cause they're monsters. It's what they do. In a fairly animalistic survival of the fist environment as well, it being a school, he's also a nice, sensitive guy. He's weak as a frickin' moogle, but courageous enough to stand up for his friends when monsters start showing their teeth which is why every single female creature under the sun falls madly in love with him. Now, never before have I seen fans of a manga get so pissed at an anime adaption as they do here. The level of fan service is ridiculous, borderline hentai, and completely unnecessary, especially when the characters are this strong. Mocha has an intriguing split personality, transforming from a kind-hearted, pink-haired sweet damsel into a silver-haired kick-ass queen of the night every time a rosary is removed, and so there's the mystery of which one's the real mocha. It also makes you consider, do we all have this more confident, primal side to ourselves? At no point though, do I give a shit what her ass looks like. Then there's the other girls in the harem, the seductive succubus, cool abominable snow woman, and prodigy witch. Now, even if you don't want to watch the show, even if you don't like anime, there are two pieces of music I plead that people try out. The first is Snowstorm, and in both Japanese and English, this is auditory ambrosia, as is the second track, So I Walk Alone. These character songs perfectly display how deep and well written the characters are, and how much they want the protagonist to like them. While there is physical humour, fans of the show will attest that this is a sweet, harmless comedy romance, one that was cut far too short, however, for big, exposed, can't show that on TV reasons. SpaceMonkeyMafiaStudios.com